Hello and welcome to Math for Juniors with me, Miss Marks, and my assistant, Snail. Miss Marks, is there going to be a craft class? Great! No maths class! Of course not, Snail. But don't look so upset because we are talking about size and shapes. Geometry. I love geometry! Well then, look at the table top here. The blackboard, the door frame and tell me what they have in common. Uh, I don't know, Miss Marks. Perhaps they all have four sides. Right again, Snail. Four-sided figures are called quadrilaterals and we are going to talk about a special kind of quadrilateral today called parallelogram. So, into the virtual world to learn more. A parallelogram is a particular type of quadrilateral in which opposite sides are parallel and equal. The figure given on the screen is a parallelogram. Now, you will learn some properties of a parallelogram. The diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. In the given figure, triangle A, B, D is congruent to triangle C, D, B. In a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. In the given figure, A, B is equal to D, C and A, D is equal to B, C. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. In the given figure, angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D. In a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. In the given figure, diagonals AC and BD bisect each other. Now in the real world, you can see so many types of parallelograms all around you. Isn't it, Snail? Just like top of the box of sweets you are hiding behind you. Hmm? Oh, this Miss Marks. I have some mm, mm, cakes inside here. Snail, you go back to chocolates and cakes and I will mark you absent again. Miss Marks, I must protest. You can protest later. Let me take a look inside the box. Oh, wonderful. Look at their shapes. The top faces of all these pieces are of different shapes. A square, a rectangle, there's even a rhombus. So many kinds of parallelograms. In the mm, cake box, the square and rectangle are parallelograms. Uh, what's a rhombus? Miss Marx, slow down. Well, you see, squares, rectangles and the diamond-shaped rhombus are all parallelograms. Come, let's see their properties in the virtual world. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary to each other. In the figure, angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Or, angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. And, angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Or, angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Seen a chocolate bar? Usually, it's in the shape of a rectangle. A rectangle is a type of parallelogram with all its angles as right angles. Rectangle also has its diagonals equal in length. In the figure, diagonal AC is equal to diagonal BD. A rhombus is parallelogram with all its sides equal in length. In the figure, the sides AB, BC, CD and AD of the rhombus A, B, C, D are equal in length. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. In the figure, angle AOB, angle COD 
and angle BOC and angle AOD are equal to 90 degrees. The diagonals of a rhombus also bisect the angles. In the figure, angle DAO is equal to angle BAO. Angle ABO is equal to angle CBO. Angle BCO is equal to angle DCO. And angle ADO is equal to angle CDO. Look closely at this figure. It's all angles. That is angle A, B, C and D are equal to 90 degrees. The figure represents what's called a square. A square is a rhombus with all its angles as right angles. The diagonals of a square are equal in length and bisect each other at right angles. In the diagram, the diagonal AC is equal to the diagonal BD and angle AOB, angle COD, angle BOC and angle AOD are each equal to 90 degrees. Thus, AO is equal to OC and DO is equal to OB. So many shapes, so many rules to identify them. Isn't it, Snail? Miss Marks, I'm very confused. Rectangle and a parallelogram sound the same. Rhombus and square sound the same. All shapes are jumbled up in my head. Hold on, Snail. Let me make it clear. Look at this empty frame without a picture, without a glass. What does the shape look like? A rectangle. Okay, now let me slant it in this direction. Now, it's a parallelogram. But Miss Marks, a rectangle is also a parallelogram. So, aren't they same? Well, Snail, a rectangle is a parallelogram since it has equal opposite sides. But a rectangle has all right angles and parallelogram does not. Look at the photo frame without distortion with its sides making right angles and after distortion when they do not. And it's the same thing with the square and rhombus too. Oh, I see. So, if I stretch the square shaped frame along its ends uh, uh, like this to resemble a diamond, I have a rhombus. Correct. Now, let's study the rules to differentiate them properly in the virtual world. A parallelogram is a rectangle if all the angles are equal measuring 90 degrees each and its diagonals have equal length. In the given figure, angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D are equal each measuring 90 degrees. Also, diagonals AC and BD are equal. A parallelogram is a rhombus if its adjacent sides are equal and its diagonals bisect each other at right angles. In the given figure, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Also, angle AOB angle BOC, angle COD and angle DOA are equal to 90 degrees. So you're back. Now Snail, did you learn to differentiate between various parallelograms? Yes, Miss Marks. A rectangle's angles are 90 degrees. A square's angles are 90 degrees. But the parallelogram and rhombus do not. So simple. It is. Just keep the basics in your mind. You will never go wrong. So, here is something more for you to understand your shapes better. Do you know engineers choose from various parallelograms to make for different purposes while constructing buildings, homes, cars and even trains? Uh, is it so? Yes, it is. 
Each shape offers its own special quality. For example, look at this half-built house here. All columns are rectangles and squares. The metal or wood beams that hold up most houses and buildings form rectangles and squares. Whereas, when building something like a bridge, engineers construct triangles between parallelograms to give the structure strength and stability. Ooh, I am amazed! Yeah, there's more. Constructing diagonals along two parallel sides, like that of a bridge, helps create triangles throughout the length of the structure, which in turn gives it the desired sturdy, strong support it needs to weather the strain of heavy traffic. Now, back to square one on a jog to get a recap on parallelograms. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides parallel and equal. A rectangle is a parallelogram where all its angles are right angles. A parallelogram having all its sides equal in length is called rhombus. A square is a rhombus where all its angles are right angles. Now Snail, for your excellent performance today, I have a special sweet for you. Mm, mm, these look great, Miss Marks. Mm, mm, thank you. Did you notice the shape of the sweets? Why, Miss Marks? They are in the shape of a rhombus. Yes, that's because within the same perimeter, the rhombus takes less space than the square. Now keep learning from the world around you. Until next time, goodbye.